um, the major part of this press conference will come from Hermie Sadler. Uh, but today and this morning in the Circuit Court of Greenville County, uh, we filed this complaint against the Commonwealth of Virginia, against the Governor, His Excellency. We filed it against Mark Herring, the Attorney General, and also against the Virginia Alcohol Alcoholic Beverage Board, the ABC. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, what we did in the General Assembly was wrong. We have eliminated skills games uh, from the lexicon of what is now legalized gambling in the Commonwealth of Virginia. Ladies and gentlemen, personally, and as you know, politically, I've never been for gambling, but I believe Virginia has made the decision to legalize casino gambling, sports betting, slot machines, horse racing, and now they have chosen to pick on the small businessman because they've decided that, that skill games are unseen, and they're not. They are the backbone of what has allowed these small businesses to thrive in a pandemic, they have helped them hire and renovate, and they've helped them keep their employees working during the pandemic and during the shutdown. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're going to legalize gambling in the Commonwealth of Virginia, then you gotta rip the Band-Aid off. You gotta legalize all gambling. And, and picking and choosing winners and losers is on American and it's on Virginia. There behind us are many small businessmen, every day working very hard to make sure that they can put food on the table for their families and provide for their communities. And just because a, a precious few in the Commonwealth have determined that it is better to have a shiny casino or a slot machine rather than to allow those who may not be able to access that shiny casino or that, or that slot machine at that place or the horse racing track, that they should be able to gamble and spend their money as they see fit. And these small businessmen and women are the people that are being hurt the most by this decision that is made by the Commonwealth. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a two count civil complaint asking for injunctive relief, stating that what the Commonwealth of Virginia did, the bill that was signed in by the governor, is unconstitutional. It's a violation of Mr. Sadler's First Amendment rights. It's a violation of all of their First Amendment rights. And the bill itself is so unconstitutionally vague that not even the ordinary man couldn't understand what is legal and what is not legal. Hermie Stadler comes today standing up for the little guy, the small businessman and woman who worked so hard in the Commonwealth of Virginia and deserve to have their opportunity at the American dream. And if casino gambling is legal in Virginia, then it also should have skill games as well. And with that, I will turn it over to my client, Hermie Sadler. Thank you. First of all, thank you all for being here on a warm day, but a very important day for small business owners and operators here in the Commonwealth of Virginia. I know many people, when they hear the Sadler name, they equate it to mine and my brother's time in NASCAR, my time doing television for Fox Sports. But those that know us outside of that also understand that our family business is convenience stores, truck stops, and restaurants. Running small businesses in rural areas of Virginia is difficult, it's challenging. It's been way more challenging than normal these last couple of years as, as we've all dealt with issues related to COVID-19 and the pandemic. I don't think anybody could have forecast how long this would affect us and how it would affect our personal lives and our businesses. But there are real challenges for people, not only including myself, but other small business owners and operators across the state during this pandemic. I'll give you a couple examples. When I mention this to people, they say, I didn't think about that, but some of the issues that we're currently facing, you know, there's not a lot of people or extra people in the workforce right now. So for us, that means overtime, a lot of extra money to be paid. Our labor expenses are up, mine personally, upwards of 30% because we're paying our core group of people that are coming to work every day, paying them a lot of overtime. Food costs, going crazy, chicken, steak, all these things that nobody thinks about double, triple the cost that we had six, eight months ago. And these are costs that we have to absorb to stay in business. But as uh, Mr. Stanley said, one thing that we've had in the Sadler companies to help us offset the cost of doing business and also more so during this pandemic is skill games. We've offered skill games at some of our locations to our customers for over 20 years. At the truck stop in Emporia, we've had skill games for 25 years. 
and they have served as a tremendous lifeline to us to help us in times like this everyday business but it's certainly in times of the pandemic it's enabled us to keep people on the payroll to pay this overtime to absorb some of these other costs associated with doing business in a difficult time like we're facing now so all that's coming to an end right now on July 1st because as Mrs. Stanley eloquently stated the governor has decided to ban skill games for all of us operators in the Commonwealth of Virginia that operate convenience stores, restaurants, and truck stops. And so, in spite of the fact that we're opening our doors to gambling in the Commonwealth, we feel like as small business operators, we're being unfairly targeted, picked out. They're doing away with skill games for us to pave the way for the casinos coming in in two or three years. To me, I don't think that's fair. I believe in the free market system. I believe let whoever wants to come in Virginia build a building and do business, but do it on a level playing field. Everybody has to compete. Let people decide where they want to go spend their money. I have spent countless days and nights the last two years in that building and in this building behind me trying to get answers. Why? I have not been able to get those answers. Nobody wants to discuss why we're really doing this right now. So my questions are, and I'm not an attorney, that's why I got Mr. Stanley. But as a small business operator, I want to know, is it really legal for the government to come in and take from us and give to them? I, I don't know the answer to that, but I want to find out. 